this video is the first of a series uh, that I have been working on, uh, and it's about number theory for what I think could be uh, in the U.S. high school course, uh, depending on the country. I know in Germany, high schools are called gymnasiums. Every country calls them differently, but before college. And so I took the uh, liberty of, uh, of uh, uh, digging up a uh, picture of Uncle Sam. Uh, this is one of those uh, recruitment pictures for the uh, posters from, for the Army. I think the first one came out in World War I. And I propped, propped the picture of Ramanujan, who, of course, uh, we all uh, admire. And uh, here, Ramanujan wants you for number theory. And I, would, I guess I should have said the nearest math department, uh, something like that. So, so why do I think young people, by that I mean ages less than 18 years old, should study number theory? Now, I also think other younger people, um, my demographic for this channel, uh, you know, between 18 and 35, I'm 56, so that's relatively speaking, anybody under 35 is young, younger, young people, um, should study number theory in, in some shape or form. Uh, well, the main reason is because number theory has many unsolved conjectures, and I mean like really big time uh, unsolved conjectures. Uh, and I think it could take somebody really on and off most of their lifetime to prove one of these. I think the, the, the more mathematics is created, the, the harder these conjectures are. I mean, when, uh, when Gauss was working on quadratic reciprocity, um, in the early 1800s, there was a lot of math that had not been solved out yet. Uh, so it's just a natural progression as, as we, do more math, the problems that remain are the hardest ones. It just makes sense. Uh, and I think exhibit A for that would be Andrew Wiles. And I'm quoting Wikipedia uh, that he really, the theorem that would make him famous, uh, Fermat's last theorem, which is <clears throat> considered, I believe, part of algebraic number theory. And it's uh, also uh, called the Diophantine equation from Diophantus Greek. Uh, started pretty early so i think i think early is best uh so you you the viewer of this video if you're a young person maybe if you may be a little older than 18 you could be the one to prove one of these conjectures and that is i think very exciting very interesting uh because i think it's going to take a long time and so whoever gets started in proving one of these conjectures is probably going to start really young uh, and then proceed to uh, work on it for 20, 30, 40 years. That's probably what's going to happen. I mean, uh, I know the Riemann hypothesis is a uh, millennium problem where they're supposed to give like a million dollars for somebody to solve it. But, uh, and, and of course, there's like hundreds of bad proofs of the Riemann con uh, con uh, hypothesis. I'm sorry. It's something so it's a conjecture. And I'm, forgive me if I say it wrong. But, um, uh, there must be hundreds of these proofs out there. I know before Andrew Wiles proved the uh, Fermat's last theorem, there were also like many attempts, many false attempts at the proof. And even Andrew Wiles himself made some mistakes that Taylor and others, I believe, had to go and fix. But uh, if you think of a proof as a bridge, uh, all, all these proofs that are not working right now for ABC, uh, for Goldback, for Riemann hypothesis, and other conjectures, they're basically like a, a bridge that doesn't, is not a bridge, it cannot hold anything. Uh, it's almost like a span in the middle of the air that obviously is not a bridge. So, and I'm not putting the prime conjecture in here uh, because it sure looks like uh, Yi Tang Zhang, and I'm pronouncing his name wrong, and collaborators, I mean, they're coming very close to proving the, the twin prime conjecture. So I think that one's off the list. In my opinion, it sure looks like it'll be taken off the list very soon and will become the twin prime theorem, meaning there are infinite number of twin primes. For example, five and seven are a twin prime. Uh, they're two away from each other. Uh, as I have time, I'll make videos for these conjectures. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to do for that, but there's plenty of material on YouTube. Uh, if you're this young person who's interested in one of these conjectures, uh, to look it up and read all about it. Read all about it. And, and I also put a link to uh, something about Yi Tang from Institute of, of Advanced Studies. I happen to find Yi Tang to be 
a great inspiration for me, and I hope uh, he is to you.